Hey, I'm Ed. Tonight we're going to make a cream of cauliflower soup. Cream of cauliflower soup, super easy. All we need to do is saute one onion, and then we're going to add liquid, either chicken stock or veggie stock if you want to do a more vegetarian version. Chopped up cauliflower, let it all soften up, and then we're going to finish it, if you want, optionally with cream and or some Parmesan cheese. We'll adjust the seasonings at the end because the Parmesan and the stock is going to have some salt in it already. Step one, just chop up our onion. Just in a medium dice is fine. It's all going to get smushed by our little either food processor or stick blender. I like to use a stick blender that way I can cook it right in the pot without having to like Put scalding hot soup in a food processor. Next, chop up our cauliflower. Nothing fancy here because it's gonna we're gonna uh, simmer it in our liquid of choice. So just roughly chop it up, put it aside in a bowl, and we'll be ready to go in a minute. So next step, super easy, just saute up our onions with a little bit of, I use extra virgin olive oil, regular olive oil would be fine. Give those a minute or two. Our onions have been gently sweating here in a little extra virgin olive oil. They're getting translucent. We just want to get rid of the, you know, typical onion bitterness and replace it with that nice sweet flavor that we all love in sautéed onions. So another minute or so and we'll be able to put in our liquid and our cauliflower. Okay, we've sweated down our onions. They're translucent actually a little bit brown. That's fine. There's no hard and fast rule here. So I'm going to add our cauliflower and our liquid of choice. I'm going to use the chicken broth. You could use the veggie broth if you wanted a more vegetarian version. And then we're going to cover and bring this to a gentle boil and then back it down to a simmer and let it just simmer until the cauliflower is totally soft. About mm, half an hour I find is typical. I'm going to turn up the heat for a minute and bring it up to a boil. Okay, so our Cauliflower, onions, and stock, either veggie or chicken stock, have come to a boil. No seasonings at all yet. I'm going to back it down to a simmer, let it simmer for about 30 minutes, let the cauliflower get nice and soft, and then we're ready to puree it, process it, either in a food processor or my preferred method, with a stick blender, because it's easier. I can do it right in the pot. Okay, so our cauliflower soup has been simmering for about, eh, I checked it, about 20 minutes. So it's completely soft. The cauliflower is falling apart. I'm going to turn off the heat, let it cool off for a minute, and then we're going to grind it up with our stick blender, and then add, if you want, our dairy products. I'm going to use Parmesan and heavy cream to make a cream of cauliflower soup. You could do either or both or neither. You could put just the Parmesan for a little umami flavor. You could put the cream in for a creamy texture or you could just grind it up as is for a, a more pure veggie type soup. So I've let my soup cool off for a minute or two, just so it's not scalding, scalding hot. I'm gonna grind it up with my stick blender. You could let it cool off even more and put it into a food processor if you wanted, that would be fine. See, it's nice and smooth, and the cauliflower does a great job of thickening it up a little bit. I'm going to let it cool off for another couple minutes before I put in the Parmesan and the cream, because otherwise I don't want the cream to, like, curdle too badly. Okay, so I let our soup cool down for a minute or two. So it's, again, I don't want to scald the cream. I'm going to do everything. I'm going to put in my heavy cream. I used like a quarter of a cup. And then I'm going to add a quarter cup of Parmesan, just because I like the umami and the saltiness. 
That's all we got to do. Now I'm going to put it in a bowl, serve it up, and we can finish the seasoning. We're going to taste it and finish the seasoning with a little fresh ground pepper, a little sea salt, and maybe a little olive oil. We'll see. Okay, so here's our final step, serving our soup. I'm just going to ladle it out into a nice bowl. And then just taste it. Mmm, delicious, but definitely needs a little bit more salt. I'm going to use some uh, sea salt, some Malden sea salt some pepper. I know some people don't like to put black pepper onto a white soup, but I don't care. And then just a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil to finish it off. And mm, that's incredible. There you go. Cream of cauliflower soup. Enjoy.